Five-time Champions League winner, Ballon d'Or winner, all-time top French goal scorer, and all-around extremely underrated player. This is the insane career of Kareem Benzema. In this video, I'll take you through the criminally underrated career of one of the best strikers of our generation. From his roots in France to his 200 million a year move, sit back and enjoy this football cave video. Spending most of his career in a team full of superstars, it's common for Benzema to be overlooked in terms of his ability, but in my opinion, his selflessness is the main factor to why I think Benzema is one of the most dangerous strikers ever, and why I think he deserves a lot more praise for his great career than what he gets at the minute. Let's take it back to the start. Growing up in France, Kareem joined Lyon at an early age of 9. From when he joined in 1996, Kareem made highly noticeable progress. He was dubbed by many teammates and coaches as a future star. People could tell almost instantly from watching him play that his striking brilliance and composed mindset set him above everyone else. And from this, a cool-headed Kareem was raised. A monster was made of Leon, and he had an addiction to scoring goals. This addiction would last his whole life. It was clear from the start that Kareem had that dog in him. Benzema quickly ascended up the ranks in the academy. He served as a ball boy during Leon's senior team matches. At under 16 level, Benzema scored 38 goals in the Championnat National de 16 and the domestic league for under 16 youth players in France. Ahead of the 2004-05 season, Benzema was promoted to the club's reserve team, which was playing in the Championnat de France Amateur, the fourth division of French football. Despite only being with the team during the autumn campaign, he scored a team high 10 goals as the Lyon reserve team finished second in its group. On January 15, 2005, at the age of 17, Benzema made his senior debut for Lyon in a Ligue 1 match against FC Metz. He came on as a substitute in the 72nd minute. Although he didn't score in the debut match, his performance and potential were evident. He was an instant fan favorite. He got an assist on this debut. In the following months, Benzema continued to make appearances for Lyon gradually earning more and more playing time. He scored his first senior goal for the club on February 13, 2005, in a match against FC Sausha Montebellier. This goal marked the beginning of his goal-scoring prowess and further solidified his place in the team. Benzema's performances during the 2007-08 seasons were particularly noteworthy. He formed a formidable attacking partnership with players like Sidney Govou and Junio contributing significantly to Leon's success in domestic competitions. That season, Benzema scored 31 goals in all competitions, including 20 goals in League One. This earned Benzema the league's Golden Boot Award. Benzema continued to shine for Leon in subsequent seasons, consistently showcasing his skills and scoring ability. His performances did not go unnoticed as he earned his call-up to the French national team, making his international debut against Austria, Benzema was born to Hafid Benzema and Wahali Jabarda, who were French nationals of Algerian descent. Given his Algerian roots, the Algerian Football Federation tried to convince Benzema to represent the Algerian national team, but his heart leaned towards representing Les Bleus. Benzema once said, It's my parents' country. It's in my heart. A young Benzema was improving by the day. He would never leave the training ground. Football was embedded in his blood and he would not stop until he was up there with the best. Like any good striker, all Benzema wanted to do was score more and more goals every season. This was clear and it didn't take long for the biggest clubs to show interest in the Frenchman. Benzema's impressive performances for Lyon caught the attention of several top European clubs ultimately leading to his transfer to Real Madrid in 2009. Nevertheless, his time at Lyon was crucial in his development as a player and served as a platform for his ascent to becoming one of the world's top strikers. The transfer fee was priced at 35 million euros. The pressure was on for Benzema. The start when he joined, it wasn't exactly smooth sailing. He had many critics, and this was for three main reasons. The first being his goal scoring record. Real fans thought he would instantly be able to adapt to Spanish football and continue his goal scoring record. Many people would criticize him due to the competition for places in the squad. From joining, Benzema was faced with immediate challenges, 
fighting for a position, with players like Cristiano Ronaldo, Gonzalo Higuain, and Raul. The third reason being the price tag. For 35 million, he had a huge expectation from the fans. They would expect an extremely good player, and Benzema knew that if he didn't put up good performances, he would quickly lose the fans. From all these different factors, it was hard for Benzema to flourish at Real Madrid at first. In his first season, he didn't put up too impressive stats. He was highly doubted by fans by only scoring 8 goals in his first season in the league. And then, the season after would only produce 15 La Liga goals. Benzema had haters, and a lot of people were getting fed up with him. People expected more. This gave Benzema the drive to do better next season, and he quickly adapted in time for the next season where he would score 21 goals in 34 La Liga games. In his second season for Real Madrid, people began to love him, therefore he took the number 9, being outlined in the squad as their main striker. But the problem with him? He could never really settle as top goal scorer and was often outshunning the team. He was always second to Ronaldo or Bale, but this is where Benzema is different from the rest. Most strikers would be upset with this, but he's a team player. He wouldn't mind being in this position in the team. He was an extremely selfless player, and this is what people loved about Benzema. Benzema always knew that his time would come. The thing is with Benzema, it seems like he ages like a fine wine in terms of football ability. He's been smashing it for Real Madrid since. You see, every season, Benzema seems to get better and better, and now he sits at the age of 34. Benzema won the Ballon d'Or, being the second oldest person to ever receive the award. Benzema proved all his haters over the years wrong, and he really did deserve the award due to his insane season. Now, as we fast forward to present day, Benzema has just agreed to move to the Saudi League. He left Real Madrid as a legend. He joined Al Ittihad. He reportedly will be paid 200 million per year. Now. This is insane, but he does deserve it for all his years of hard work and dedication. From joining as a small French boy to leaving as a Real Madrid legend. Here are some facts about Benzema that'll blow you away. He got the fastest El Clasico goal, scoring after 21 seconds of playing. Two of his siblings are footballers too. He's the oldest player to score a Champions League hat trick. He has most assists in Real Madrid history, most appearances for Real Madrid by a non-Spanish player, most goals scored by a French player in history. He has his name in the Guinness Book of World Records. Benzema holds the Guinness Book of World Records for scoring 18 consecutive seasons in the UEFA Champions League. Starting from the 2005-2006 season, Leo Messi is the other player who he shares this record with. Now, that's all I got for today. Thank you for watching this Football Cave video, and I really hope you enjoyed. I bet you'll enjoy this Ivan Tony video too, if you'll excuse the pun. But for now, it's been the Football Cave, and see ya!